uh, I want to do electrolysis of copper sulfate aqueous solution uh, two version of that the first one uh, I want to have a cell and two inert electrode and then the next case I'm going to have copper electrodes and we have to know what happens in each case so in this case it's either graphite or platinum uh, as solid so let it be platinum solid connected to a positive uh, pole of the battery and negative pole of the battery and we put copper sulfate aqueous here now remember one thing you should definitely know is color of copper sulfate which is blue so you have cu2 plus then again it's selective discharge between copper and hydrogen copper comes out so if you have cuso4 aqueous don't forget in aqueous you have h2o so copper comes out as solid and then instead of sulfate h2o goes through oxidation and oxygen comes out as gas so now i'm just going to change the color so you can see it so copper which is a cation gets attracted to the cathode and the cathode is negative mm -hmm. now copper is a reddish solid so what you will have a bulk of copper being produced here i exaggerated the color now a few things you have to remember about the solution the solution is going to lose its copper so what happens is the color or the blue color rather you have to be able to say that blue color fades away one other thing happens is ph of the solution what you don't use from h2o is hydrogen hydrogen and sulfate from the copper to sulfate are going to mix and you will have sulfuric acid in this case uh, sorry let me just clean this so sulfate and hydrogen are going to mix they produce sulfuric acid and ph of the solution also goes down it becomes more acidic so two two few things that happens copper is going to precipitate out at your cathode the color of solution will change from blue into a transparent eventually and ph goes down now what happens if we change the electrodes into not inert electrode rather copper electrode now this electrode will take place in the reaction so i have copper on one side and copper on the other side connected to a battery positive and negative and then against the same solution of copper uh, two plus is there now this is known as uh, electro refining when electro refining when you want to produce pure copper for electronics now what happens is one electrode is going to lose mass uh, copper is going from the solid to become into aqueous plus two electron this is loss of electron this is your oxidation and oxidation always takes place at anode now you have to somehow remember anode is your positive pole so in this case the left hand electrode is your anode and the positive negative electrode on this side is your cathode so one observation is this uh, electrode is going to get skinnier it's going to lose its mass so i put it uh, with a sharper edge into our solution and then on the other side you're going to have precipitate of copper two plus that are going to gain two electron and solidify this is reduction and this is your cathode so what you're going to have is precipitate of red copper and this is pure copper and one other observation that will challenge you is what happens to the color and you have to remember color is not going to change because as you are draining cu2 plus at the same time you're pumping in cu2 plus into the solution also ph of the solution is not going to change so color does not change and 
and pH does not change. So copper to sulfate aqueous with inert electrodes, you will produce uh, copper and oxygen and color will change. Copper to sulfate in electrodes that are made from copper, the color does not change, pH does not change and you just produce copper and you consume copper. This cell stops working once you don't have any electrode on the other side or your battery has run out.